Welcome. Welcome. It's seven o'clock. Seven o'clock on the West, West Coast, and it's time for it's zero, time page zero page homebrew. Page homebrew. Um, um, Tanya will be Tanya joining will us. Be joining us. No, no. You're almost ready. You're almost ready. She's coming. She's coming. Um. Uh, um so tonight so was tonight kind of an unscheduled, kind of an unscheduled um, um, broadcast. Broadcast. Come on. Come on. Yes. Don't have to shut the Don't door. Have to shut the door. We'll see how the cats we'll see do. The cats do. It's cat it's dependent. Cat, <laughs> cat yeah. dependent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pretty bad. Pretty bad. Uh, um, so we're gonna be playing so some, new playing some new on games, some classic, classic consoles, consoles. Uh, on uh, zero page homebrew zero page tonight. Homebrew tonight. Uh, I didn't schedule uh, I didn't this. Schedule this. Um, um, broadcast, broadcast tonight, tonight, but, tonight, but um, I just remembered that remember this, this challenge, challenge um, this, um, uh, this the Harmony, uh, the Harmony games, games is coming to a close, coming to a close of round of four. Round four, and I wanted, and to, I wanted get, to try and get try and a get little higher a little scores, higher scores um, than I have um, already. Than I have already. Um, um, round four is round four ABCS, ABCS tech, tech challenge. challenge. Um, um, oh, there's some. Oh, there's some people coming people in. People coming in. Bad echo. Bad echo. Bad, bad. Oh, oh. Echo is gone. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's good we have the chat up there. <laughs> echo, echo. Somebody's having a bad trip. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, chat, for telling me about the echo. It is gone now. Um, so yes, unscheduled show. We're going to try for some high scores on AVCS Tech Challenge. You've never played it. We did play it on the no. show with Darcy a couple weeks ago. And we want to get in those high scores mm before the week is over or round is over uh, i don't know what game five is and this is the first week i participated in it because i didn't know about it before mm. um so i'm totally not gonna win <laughs> because there's already <laughs> been three games already been played and arena foot is just wiping the board clean because yeah, gotcha. he i think he's gotten first <laughs> in all the other ones um and uh this came the other day from some place called Atari Age. <laughs> Never heard of it. So I'll be doing an unboxing of some new games that I have soon, uh, replenishing my stock of games. Bye bye. Oh, light? Yeah. Both lights. Yeah. Um, and uh, then we have some more new games. So oh, you'll be seeing that unboxing video soon. Uh, Arena Foot says he was in first place in the first three games. Mm. And he's currently in third place in this game, so he has some last-minute playing to do as well. <laughs> um, I'm second, and the first place person is Lid Likes in Television uh, with 3,930 points, and I got 2,520. So it's quite, quite a bit more than me. So we're going to give it an attempt. Um, there's also a different difficulty as well to play on um, and you can get some bonus points if you get the top score in that one mm. So maybe uh, that can boost me up. I, I still can't win the whole thing, but it's worth trying mm -hmm. uh, Round five won't start until June 13th. Mm. So I don't know if I'll get another chance to play um, but I'll give it a try today and um, Yeah, what else? That's about it um, let's turn up the volume on this and switch over. Oh yes, um, chat. Chat is uh, on the screen now, so people oh, can see yeah. it. A couple of lines of, of the chat. Nice. Uh, I don't know if that's good, bad, but I thought it'd be kind of cool. Uh, is that just an option? Yeah, it's a, a plug-in. Option. Yeah. That's cool. So yeah, you can see it all on all three screens even while waiting for the show to come chatting with each other and it's nice to have a record of that of the conversation that was taking place during the game and it's just off to the side so it's out of the way um, yeah it looks pretty good on this screen the white on the black so AVCT AVCS tech challenge very awkward it was originally as tech challenge and this is a Commodore 64 game oh okay and it's a bit loud it's very loud there we go yeah, I played this game on the Commodore 64 back in the 80s and 90s. I actually played it quite a bit, so I was really happy to see it on the Atari 2600. Uh, the original game had seven levels. Um, this has the first two levels. The competition is just for the first level. 
the first level of all. And the side total competition scores? is total for score? yeah, just total score. Okay. And the side competition is for the first two levels, so all the levels on this one. Um, so I'll give it to you. Sure. I don't know <laughs> anything about this game. The first level is ducking and jumping. That's it, up and down. And there's arrows coming from either side. That should be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so you're that guy, oh. duck. No, and you died. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Oh, I see. Don't hold down too long, or you will die. Oh, I see. Like. Yeah, it's gonna take. This is gonna be. <laughs> not the most need a little exciting. bit of practice. Yeah, I think so. There we go. Okay, thirty-nine thirty on B. That's what I've got. Sixty-two eighty on A. Yes, uh, that's what I've got. Oh wow, that didn't take much. <laughs> so you can go it's ahead. It's all. It's all pure. Pure timing. Yeah, it's all timing. Yeah. I um, hope you have something to chat about because <laughs> this is going to be pretty pathetic. There you go. Uh, Arena Foot says he likes the chat on the screen. There's a really long lag when we enter a message on the chat before it ends up on your end. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's probably about 20, 20 seconds maybe before it takes the round trip. Actually, probably has to read it from the chat, get it off the web page, put it onto my computer. And then it has the buffer on my computer, then send it out to Twitch. Then there's the buffer on your end of the people watching it on Twitch. So, a little bit of a round trip. <laughs> well, the even just the lag from streaming to what shows up on the computer screen. Yeah. Is quite, it's is not... pronounced enough, okay. you know? Okay, duck, duck. It's two seconds from oh, is there it? to there. Yeah, so it's pretty quick. So I always thought it was more around 10, but... Let's see how long it is. Okay, so you are going to... Duck. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve seconds. Around 12 yeah, seconds. So it's about 10. Yeah. So about... And I don't know how long the ad, the chat might add a little couple seconds while it reads it from the web page, and but it gets up there eventually. It's more like a record. Oh, do we have it on the wrong setting? So we have it on A setting. And what's is that easy setting? This is both levels. Oh. This is easy for <laughs> easy, easy for scores. Let's okay. say for a higher score, this is uh, <laughs> it's left and right. Yeah, 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 I'm just figuring it out. <laughs> do you want to switch it to the other setting now? No, no. Let's do this one first. Okay, so you're seeing the two levels? Yeah. Well, it doesn't <laughs> respond and there's... <laughs> <laughs> That's an issue. There we go. Level one done. So you did, you did make it all the way through the first level. That's good. My score was only like... 400 though so i'm not sure it must the other level you just do level one you just keep going until yeah it's over and over and gotcha. over again that would make sense because i'm trying to figure out how you would get a score of like <laughs> almost 4,000. yeah um the level's done pretty quick to get the highest score mm. you keep all your lives that's a multiplier oh i see so the more lives at the end of each level you have um the higher the score so pretty much if you lose any lives you're not really going to get a high score. Okay. Yeah. And you get an extra life. Um, oh, it doesn't move very fast. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I'm just not pushing it far enough to the right on the, on the oh. Genesis controller. Okay. My turn. <laughs> Do you want it to switch it to the other one? or? No. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. I'm just going to kill myself now. But, but you're not playing that main game anyway. Um, no, I'm going to do the this one first. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's a bit of a... It's not too laggy. He it's jumps pretty quick. A, a bit of a lag, though. You have to get used to it. You have to get to it. it a touch before the arrow the arrow hits you, but it's it's, yeah. it's pretty easy to get used to. You know, it takes him a bit to jump. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to practice. I'm not going to kill myself. <laughs> Obviously, I haven't played this in a couple weeks. <laughs> not much of an excuse, but to get used to the controls again. I'm not sure about... I guess if you're playing on the Atari, you're using the joystick. The Genesis controller feels like... Um... Yeah, there you go. Oh my goodness. You, 
really have to hit the controller to the edge of the um, yeah. of the uh, what is it? The cross pad, the, the X game, pad, the game pad, the game pad. Yeah. For him to move very no, something quickly. Something is wrong with this. Yeah. It, no, but it, there's some. There is something weird with the the, the game pad. You have two. You want yeah, to I might plug switch in the it other up. One? I might switch it up. Something is really weird. Yeah, switch because it, I was up. holding it down the whole time, and you shouldn't be popping up again. You should just die if you hold it down too long. Oh, okay. I'm going to switch it out. This, this controller is not behaving. could explain your issues that you are having. Let's mm -hmm. see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, like, instantly responsive. I'm going to have to label that other one as broken. Do some testing on it. Oh, yeah, this is way, 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 way better. Okay, that's good. So it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a controller. Woo. It wasn't too bad, but no. but the side to side, it, I was pushing it and it wasn't really moving. I'd have to hit to the far far edge of the of the game pad. Oh, also so. on the left and right was moving. If you press down or up while you're moving left and right, he will not move. Oh, I see. Which is an annoying thing for the programmer to do, but um, oh yeah, this is <sighs> way it's way fast. way better. Very fast. It's fast. Is, this, is there options? <laughs> is, is there like a... Arena Foot says plug in a real Atari joystick. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Probably yes, would. Yes. Probably would. I think I had it on hard difficulty. I, I have to read the instructions again. I think there is a hard difficulty. I had to write on setting A. The, uh, yeah. I don't know if I yeah, noticed is the, 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 pyramid. the pyramid coming up in the background when I was playing before. I was so focused on the arrows. That's really nice. It is. Yeah, I really like that. And um, 2600 can do vertical movement really well. So it can do a very gradual pyramid rise. Mm. So you said this only has two levels? Uh, yes, out of the seven. Out of the seven. Oh my god. It just cycles through the two. Yeah, it just cycles through the two, and the arrows get smaller oh, and faster. See, so you're still increasing your, your score. Yes. Yeah. Touch. Oh, yes. And it gets. And it uh, looks like the color's a little different too. The colors of the sand change and yeah. the sky, and there's different things in the sky. There's the sun, and there's the moon, and the temples that are coming up. Yes. Change as well. Nice. Really, really nice touches yeah. that the programmer did for this to make up for the other five levels that don't exist. Oh! <laughs> it's frustrating because you get like one try. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to get high score. Yeah. Ah. Everybody's probably watching this going, yeah, he's a lost cause. <laughs> no, I have to warm up. I'll get there. Uh, yeah. Plug in a real joystick. Yeah, put the right difficulty in B. Yeah, I had it in yeah. A before. This is in B now. Mm -hmm. um, those right side uh, diff options were misprinted in the original game manual. So now it's, oh, now nice. it's night time. Ooh, and they are. Shorter and faster. Yeah, so the equivalent, like in the other game mode, it's only this. It's only this screen. So to get higher scores, it's harder because... You just keep going? It gets so much faster, quicker, because you're not doing the boulder. Gotcha. Boulder sections. So I usually die on the arrow 
when it's just arrows, like maybe two more levels up from this. Gotcha. So you hit because about it gets the fifth, so fast. Yeah, I bet the fifth time, the fifth level. Yeah, yeah, about the fifth arrow level, because at that point, you you don't have time. You you have to press it immediately, and you have no time to think. Seems just as fast as the other. One. This one doesn't seem to increase in speed. It doesn't too appear quickly. to. It's pretty fast off level one. Like they come bowling down <laughs> at you. <laughs> they do. <laughs> well, you are we're on the harder difficulty level. I did switch it off. Oh, I see. But well, it's not it wasn't too, too bad. Different. Ooh, I like these. Oh. Uh, this is a good now color. Now it's green. Scene. You're getting closer to some some nicer uh, lands. I like it. Very nice. But I've lost all my lives, so I'm essentially not getting any decent scores any anymore. Flyers? No. What was the highest score on this one? I don't know. Can you I read it. It should still be on the screen. For B or for A? This is A. A sixty-two eighty. Only because I've Aww, missed an Atari. Uh, yeah, a very colorful one too. Yeah. <laughs> Atari monument. Yep. Temple of Atari. Temple of Atari. We will be there soon. Mm -hmm. Then they'll throw rocks at us. Why are they so mad? What did we do to cause them to throw rocks at us? Well, we're invading their temple. That's pretty <laughs> much it. Oh, I haven't moved in a second. Oh wow. <laughs> thing is with this level, you pretty much staying in the center is the best option because... Well, you don't have to move too far. It's like playing tennis. No, there's no rocks all yeah. the way across. Yeah, um, yeah. Because the Atari... Well, they could do it if they flashed it. Um, but using it, it's triplicating um, yeah, sprites yeah. on that. So they don't make it. Now it's getting fast. Yeah, they're red. Ugh. There's no room for the wrong moves. 29.30. Not good. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. So, the person running the 2018 Harmony Games is Dan Iacobelli. Um, he also he runs Atari-Video.Club and VideoGamesSummit.net. This is round four. And it started uh, May 15th. And will run till... June 12th at 2 p.m. Central. And the scoring is uh, 10 points for first place and descending down one by one uh, to two points for 10th place. Um, and one point for everybody after um, 10. After 10th, point, uh, 10th place. <laughs> so you can still get a point just for participating. And you can po post the scores on Atari Age and just look for the Atari 2600 um, general forum and it's it's right there. Oh, you made it. Yeah, I've already, I lost one life right off the bat because uh, I, hit, I hit, the, um, hit the button thinking that would make oh. me jump. <laughs> in most games it's it just would. Getting, just getting used to it, that's all. But it's, it's better <laughs> to do the down and up in this game than the jump and down because that's awkward. Yeah, don't hold down too long. I mean, it's pretty long. You have to hold down to die. But. Yeah. Um, and this is also the scores are also uh, sorry. The scores are also posted on the ABC online forum as well. Um, and he added later, still time to enter this round for those who want to play in the A setting. We'll give you four bonus points for it. Just in general, just for playing it. I didn't get that. Is that four points for first place, or is it four points for just playing on the A set? If you could. Um... I don't like this one. <laughs> I don't like the boulders. Too hard. I don't know what it is. They're difficult. It's like all this uh, negative emotion about like <laughs> playing sports as a teenager and <laughs> balls flying at my head. I don't know what it is. <laughs> It makes me feel quite spazzy. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? What's that game called? Dodgeball. Dodgeball. <laughs> it's kind of like dodgeball. It is. It feels a little dodgeball-like. I don't know. 
do you do you want go one do you more. want to go? And yeah. I'll keep I'm reading. kind of I'm kind of learning my way through this, so that's Ar some practice. Arena Foot says round <laughs> one was DKBCS, which is damn hard. Round two was Spies in the Night, which is also very challenging. Um, it's not a long game because it gets really hard around level three. Um, Bomb on Pixel City was round three, um, which I've never played. So I don't know how easy or hard that game is. But I did read about it the other day where you're flying um, your plane and you're, you're bombing a city and trying to take out all the buildings. It's kind of interesting. And Arena Foot says I round one, round one, two, and three. Uh, and chose chose Spies, Bomb, and ABCs. Oh, so if you win the round, you get to pick the next game. Um, so do you have to pick only games that are finished, I'm guessing? Like completely done? Um, I'm, gu I'm guessing because then you, if they weren't done, you'd have to pick and stop on a certain build number. So it's probably better to pick finished, completely finished um, BCS games. Um, uh, Arena Foot, do you, or Dane, Dan, not Dana, it looks like Dana VC, but it's Dan AVC. Um, Dan, do you, is it four bonus points for just playing the other um, setting, like this setting, or is it four bonus points for getting the high score in this setting? Or Arena Foot, um, or Arena Foot, if you know that, because it just says you get four points. Like it says, we will give you four bonus points for it. Do you want to keep talking? Or? No, no, I'm done. Okay. Oh, are you game over? No. Yep. No. Oh. Down. Now I'm done. Oh, there yeah. we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I didn't realize I put my life back up on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> and it does this, um, they did a really good version of the music. This sounds really close to the, the yeah. Commodore 64 version. So it's got the, the beat, it's got the melody. I always like that percussive sound. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a really good percussive sound. And it's just like white noise, really short white noise. <laughs> Instead of long, mm -hmm. they just cut it off. And really the only difference between this and the Commodore 64 version is that when you get hit, it gets stuck in your neck and you kind of glide off the screen. Oh, okay. Um, and this one you just disappear, mm -hmm. unless it's your last life, and then it just gets stuck in your throat or leg. You just kind of smush then down, right? You just smush yeah. down. Yeah. And Darcy was saying that was a bit more realistic rather than flying <laughs> off the screen. Wow. <laughs> an arrow given its momentum and the fact that it actually gets caught in your body on the way in <laughs> yeah. probably I, yeah. it would it would transfer a bit of force <laughs> not much it's so, so tiny it's not like it's not like getting shot by a bullet where you know the force of the bullet would just go right through your body force equals mass times acceleration yes. so the mass of him versus the mass of an arrow yeah that's true it's not much that's true Directly proportional. Right. Depends how weighted that uh, the head of that bolt of that. Uh, true. If it's a bolt versus a uh, an arrow. That's true. Bolts, is it, bolts it is, have more more weight and more mass. It is also flying very slowly. <laughs> like it has a propeller on it or something. Yeah. <laughs> true. True. So you can see my score is quite a bit higher after just a couple levels um, because I've died. Oh, I see. Yeah. Still all your life. Yeah. And the, bo and the bonus points come at the end of the level. Mm. You get almost nothing for jumping and ducking. You get like 10 points. 
see, it's funny because the different color schemes do impact oh, how yeah. easy it is to see them. Like this one, Especially the, on the, boulders. the oh, arrows yeah. are tiny and gray and against the white background, they're a little hard to see. Level, t like the first level, yeah. the first series of two, the, what is it, like gray on green? It's actually quite hard to see, whereas <laughs> on some of the other levels, um, the boulders coming down are a bright color and they're, it, they're much easier to kind of... Yeah. Um, visualize as they're coming down, I guess. Yeah, I have. So, I like that because it gives it some dimension. It makes the levels different and a little like bit this easier. This is really it's quite easy bright. to see. Yeah. The, f the first one is a little bit harder, for sure. Is it faster or is it the same speed? The boulders? No, they... They seem the same speed, don't they? They seem the same speed all the time. Yeah. Which is good. It's fine with me. The arrows get faster, like noticeably faster, which is a big issue. Oof. The screen looks like it's moving up from me staring at the boulders coming down at me. Okay. Still pretty damn far from the high score. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So far from a high score on normal, on the hard setting. Mm. This is the easy setting. Oh, so there's an easy and hard setting. Yeah, this is the easy setting. So it's easier to get, which means easier to get a high score. But, so there's, is there easy and hard and the single level and the two levels? That's, that's what I'm kind of referring to. Oh my god! Sorry, I was distracting you. Oh, <laughs> that's not your fault. It's me not pressing the right direction. I'll continue playing this one. Mm, you might as well. It's still doing pretty well. Yeah. It's harder getting points. Everything good there in internet land? Not saying anything? I is posta? I is posta. I is posta? I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I is posta. Awesome music. Uh, yeah, oh, says he? I have an idea to cover an entire song that's mostly percussion and samples. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's he's cool. he's the magic uh, music maker of homebrew games. Um, yeah, he did. He's done some amazing music. Like mm. mappy music is unbelievable. Ah. Oh. Oh. Terrible. Oh my god. Terrible. Terrible. My turn. Yep. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't arena last as long as you do. <laughs> oh, didn't get arena foot score. I have to be 4,200 at least. To beat arena to foot? To beat arena foot. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere so near. <laughs> I know. Anywhere near the 6,280. I, that's really high. Mostly percussion and samples. So, yeah. would you use um, the two channels? One channel for the percussion and one channel for the samples. I'm guessing is that's that's how you would do it. Uh -huh. Scores for the harmony game contest are arena foot three thousand. What? That was not formatted very well. Arena foot 305, X7, 23. Oh, that makes sense. Oh no. Arena foot 30, 5X7 is 23. Really Brett, 17. De Teacher, 16. Hizzy, 7. Karyu Yojimbo, 8. Brian is correct. The bonus points are added to your score. Um. So that means whatever you get, you get four points for just playing it. Oh, and Dana says the winner of this round doesn't get to pick the next game. I've already decided. And it will be announced on my podcast on June 9th. Yeah, my score on difficulty A is 4,200. So I'm gunning for that one. Because <laughs> I just, I don't think I'm going to make 6,280. Not even, 
not even close. I'm like half that. I don't know how that guy did it. But good on him. <laughs> I think I have a better chance at difficulty B for some reason. stick in the middle. There's not enough time to go from the right oh, to the left. Oh, I see. So you have to move to back the to the middle all the time. Yeah. That's that's my strategy anyway. Yeah, that makes sense. Because then you can cover the whole ground. I, I have such... There's something about the gray on the black it's I find terrible. really hard to see. It's terrible color scheme. Yeah. I mean, the other ones are, are fine, but the... Yeah. I find that uh, challenging for sure. Yeah, yeah, the points for the Harmony games, 10th uh, for 1st, 9th for 2nd, 8th for 3rd, etc, 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 to 2 for 10th, and and 1 point for everybody after 10th, uh, once the contest round ends, yes, of course, yes. Ministry Twitch 1986, kind of like Nine Inch Nails, but four years earlier, I would throw every sound and sample technique I know at it. Very cool. Looking forward to it. To hearing what you come up with, Iisposta. Everything you've done, especially with sampling, has uh, been amazing. So I have full faith that you'll be able to uh, do what you uh, propose to do. Basically the same as all the other high score challenges on Atari Age. Okay. So because there are, are some Atari Age um, high score challenges, but those are for old school games. Of course, this is all homebrew, so this challenge is perfect for zero page, is, is the homebrew challenge. So thank you for uh, creating it. It's perfect. So the four points for dif difficulty is added to the overall contest points. But just for playing or for first? Nobody has answered my question. <laughs> Does everybody who di plays this difficulty get four points or only the top score, top first score? So the 6,000 point dude is going to get the four points and no one else or everybody. So Arena Foot, myself, and the 6280 person all get four points or just the guy who got 6280? Just for playing. Oh, I ran back into oh, it. Oh, just for playing, everybody gets four points. You get four points. Yay! Yay. Do you want to use your real name? You can use my... Your online account, name? My online name. Her online name is Sick Sweet. S-I-C-K-S-W-E-E-T. The two words put together. Yeah, put together. <laughs> Sick Sweet. My turn. Mm. So you get four yeah. points. <laughs> I'll take four points. <laughs> I'll take whatever points I can get at this at this point in time. So did I get? I got thirty nine something. Yeah, I got the two thousands. Thirty nine, I think. Not bad for never having played this game before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see if I can improve on that. A bit of glitchiness here and there. Like in the game itself. S stuttering or? when some of the arrows come. Like it doesn't do anything, it doesn't slow down or speed up anything, but it, I see it go just over a bit once in a while. I do like how the guy, like I, I totally understand that he's running in a straight line, <laughs> but it looks like he has tiny little baby hands. <laughs> but I get it, Does it's it? it's the perspective. Oh, you can okay. see him, you can, it's, you see it more in the, um, in the but, other perspective. But when his arms are fully extended, are they not long enough? No, if you look at them, it looks like he has tiny little <laughs> It's cute. Well, I'm don't... sure it's true to. Oh, they the... are I, tiny. I, I, I'm, I'm you know sure why it's that true, is. true to the original game. Like, no. I'm sure it's no. It's because of the coloring. They can't do two colors on the same. They could have done it, but it's because you can't do two colors too easily on the same line. Mm. So if they extended his arms any further, they would be those gray colors. But they could have mm. used two sprites. Um. 
and extended his arms a little bit lower. I, I, I'm not, I'm not complaining. I think it's, it's kind of cute. Um, it is. He's also running in his underwear. I, I get it's supposed <laughs> to be like a. But it looks like there's an elastic band, right? It does look like, like yeah, a darker, a bit. I like it. Yeah. Darker it's like he's got band. his Calvin Klein's on, you know, very nice. Very nice. I supposed to says I was thinking tiny arms or hands. <laughs> they need to add a missile or a ball to fatten the sprite. Also, mm. is he a little skinny? Yeah, it could have been, it could have been redone. Um, sometimes programmers get people to do their graphics for them. Mm. Like they make all, they do all the programming, but they get somebody else to do graphics okay. to, to just make it more appealing. Mm. Oh, so no lives lost, not allowed, not allowed. Don't jinx yourself. Oh, these color schemes. Brown on orange. <laughs> the worst. It makes it challenging. <laughs> so terrible. Sometimes, like that's, out here, sometimes it's fine. that's the point. Well, this yes. one is tough too because the gray is, is quite um, dim as well. I mean, the boulders are always brown, and these temples are going to be different colors. So, well. so did the temple colors out here match when you get there? Like, this one's white and gray. So when you get to the temple, do you think it's going to match? I never really thought about that. Match what? Like you're running up the temple stairs after this level, where they throw the boulders oh, down. Oh, no, no, they don't. They don't I'm match? pretty sure they don't match. Okay, but we'll see. I could this. be wrong, but I don't, I think this one's gray the first one white. is like green. Mm. That's a good point. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to open yeah, it is. Oh, this great. one, anyway. It's a slightly different color than, than what's in well, the background. There was a bunch of colors. It's a gradient. Wow, there's a lot of temples, too. Never-ending temples. Yeah. Okay. Ish. Yeah, still lots of reaction time. I think it's the one after this. It's like not good. <laughs> I think in the original C64 game, I think I only made it to like level four. Mm. It gets really hard. It doesn't cycle through like this one then? You go, no, there's you a bunch go of from one to seven. One to seven. Yeah. There's like, you have to jump over logs and time Good job. things. I think you might have, uh, did you get a bonus? No. I will after this. Yeah. I don't know if it's already added the bonus or not. Mm -hmm. 3350? No, yeah. it added the bonus already. So this is easy to see. Make it on this one. I'll get a pretty decent score. How much bonus you get? Like a couple hundred? Oh, that was that was, was tight. Sticking. That was tight. I was pressing down and it is a little sticky. I've noticed I noticed sometimes. A real joystick is better. The Atari? Do you have yes, the Atari one? I do. I'm gonna dig it out after for the next for the next part I'm gonna dig it out. Because this doesn't count. You only get four points. No matter what happens. I'm gonna get the oh, uh, it. Oh, well, there's, stuff. there's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna get the stuff. XYJ Epix joystick. Looks like it's super clicky, so just be warned. <laughs> <laughs> it's a super clicky joystick. It's so good though. You remember that one? Yeah. It's like I find one it hand. a bit awkward, but I probably I'm just probably the not used awkward, to it. The button's awkward, but there's no button in this game. Oh I see. So it'll work really well for this game. Wrong direction. Damn it. Oh! oh! See, now I'm not gonna beat him. 39. You don't know that. Oh my god. Uh, no, keep, <laughs> keep going. What is happening? This is terrible. You're at four. It's yeah, but yourself. no lives for bonuses. Yeah, but your, your score is still going up. 
by 10 points. Goes up by 10 points? No. All the you get time. A, you get a big bonus at the end of each level, depending how many lives you have left. Oh, I see. So it's all about... So you get no bonus. So what do we get? 4,200? Okay, so I just have to get avoid one boulder. And I'd be... So I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I have a competition, yeah. but I just want to get uh, on the leaderboard. Yeah, just, just slightly competitive. <laughs> but he'll just beat me again anyway. Because he's got many days. Many Complete. more days. <laughs> yes. And I... Actually, at 5,000, you get another life. Ooh. But I don't know if I'll get enough bonus points. No, it's only at 4,500. You got a, a ways to go to 5,000. A lot of my graphics are nine pixels wide. Nine pixels? Oh, because you put a missile or ball. Yep. Climb those temple stairs. Meet the Mayan Snake King. <laughs> are you real time? No, you're not I thought real time. it was. No, it's no, died on the... Okay. Let's see if I can get 500 more points. I have to just clear this whole next level. Oh my god, it's fast. But they're big ones, so they're easy to see. And dead. <gasps> oh, that was good. That I'm going to stop good. at 4620. <laughs> You're Very happy good, with that? Because I'm, I don't think I'm going to get 6280. That's pretty high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So did you want to do another attempt on the boulder ones? No, I don't like the boulders. <laughs> Okay. I'm not a fan of the boulders. So, mark Here that down. <laughs> uh, Dan, it's 4620. I'm just going to do a little there for the video so I can find my score. And get out the joystick. Oh, so, what's the, what's the other... Um, can you switch it over and I can play the... Yes. Do that first. There you go. Thank you. Box that says Atari 2600 controller? No, this technically is not Atari 2600 controller. Oh, for that guy. Oh, yeah. It's not an official one, so. Hmm. Oh, what would There are a lot of controllers hanging around here. <laughs> <laughs> They're all in boxes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll dig for it. You name it. Oh, jeez, that was bad. No, no, no. You died? Yeah, yeah, I just wasn't paying paying close attention. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's bad when you miss the first one. the noise and just moving boxes <laughs> here. There's a lot of boxes. To rummaging just just outside of view of the camera yeah <laughs> uh, this one but it's uh labeled it broken broken with a question mark so
funny. This is this is not a very big space, but it's now filled with uh, clear plastic uh, Rubbermaid containers. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Well, I no, I killed myself in the first game because I died off the first arrow. But um, interesting. Selection of joysticks. Yeah. Can't find the one I want. Ah, it was doing pretty good. You're gonna describe what the joysticks you're bringing mm, out. And yes. Can you? Oh, that's okay. Is that blocking the light a little bit, or? No. It's okay. So I've got this one. Some junky old generic nine-pin joystick, gray. I've got this. I do not know what uh, system this goes to but it is nine pin and it has a joystick. I don't know if it works. It's got some terrible side buttons. Um, we'll see, see if that works. Okay. I'll wait till you're dead and then turn off the light there. <laughs> Have some yellow light coming in. Not throwing it off too bad. And I'll pile the boxes down too, just in case it's blocking some light. Oh, oh don't don't press button. Yeah, go ahead. I'm just gonna move these. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna move it. Form. Turn on the fan. Level five clear. <laughs> Excellent. It's definitely getting more challenging now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. 2080. Not 20, so 80. bad. Not so bad. I'm gonna switch out the joysticks. Sure. And first one I'm gonna try is this one. Weird. Wicko command control. But it has a bunch of numbers on it. So it's very really interesting. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Oh, buttons work, so that's a good sign. And it works. Is that good? Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. A little stiff. A little stiff, but responsive. Looks like he stutters when you press down. Like, does he? I don't know if it's the joystick or the game. Do you notice that? The, yeah, he does stutter. Flicker? He flickers a little. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's yeah, his feet it's go very quickly. strange. Yeah, a little bit. And he's stumbling. It's hard to walk when you're looking down. That's why he falls down. He <laughs> dies. Stumbles on something. Um, so now we're going to test the side. Oh, oh yeah, it's just this. There is no side to side. No, this is fine. I'd rather have the other joystick, but these are silent at least. The uh, Epix joystick is really clicky and noisy, which would get really annoying. Some games are really good for the Genesis controllers. Uh, mostly games where you have free roaming movement, like space games, like shooters. Um, but for precision games like this, um, up and down, like up, down, left, right kind of things, this, this kind of joystick is a little bit better. Because then you don't accidentally 
because you have to do a lot more travel to get to the left and right. Yeah, but then is the responsiveness does the responsiveness go down when things are moving really quickly? Um, not really, because your hands are pretty fast to, to get it to move. I guess that's true. And if you're holding it close to the base as well. Yeah, you which I You don't have to travel or move very yeah, quickly. I don't hold it at the top. That would be a bit more travel. It's harder to move this way because you're you're pressing towards the, the fulcrum <laughs> of the joystick, right? Rather than yeah, at, the edge. at the edge, which is easier to move, but oh, the button on top works too. Fully functional joystick. There's glitches here and there in the game. So what Just what graphical glitches. system was this joystick? That is a good question. Um it's got numbers on it. Um, that was dumb. It's not the 2600, or it could be, because there are some game pads for the 2600 um, that were made for kids with numbers on them. It could be a combo one for that. Um, I wish this worked for the 5200, because there's no such thing as a good joystick for the 5200. Um, at least not the original ones. You have to buy some really expensive aftermarket ones. Um, I do have an adapter so that regular joysticks work on the 5200. Mm. It's like a black box with numbers on it. Oh my god. That was really close. That's terrible. I felt like that went through your legs and that was so close. It probably did. <laughs> and it just didn't register. Because it was just outside of the, it was like one pixel away from my leg. Aww. <laughs> it's this is competition. It's sad. just wasting time. Aww. Wasting time. That's how you practice. You practice by practice. <laughs> Need to it's punishment playing so badly. Can you read it out? I don't, it hasn't changed. I'm wondering oh, okay. if there's... Mine's not working at all. Because you're not connected to the stream. Am I? No. Is the screen... Is the stream playing? Is there, it says why. Is there movement? Are we see, now it's, now it's working. That was weird. I don't know why. And all of a sudden it kind of froze on me. Mm. That's fine. We're not. an ancient tablet. I don't know. <laughs> Troubles with the ancient tablet. Yes. It's from the Aztecs. I was going to say, <laughs> it's almost like a desire on it. It works in the Mayan <laughs> calendar. <laughs> it only goes up to 2012. <laughs> no, it's not working. Yeah, reconnect. It's mine streaming. Oh no, your chat hasn't changed in quite a while. Not the chat, the video. Oh, the vi Everybody's really intensely watching me. Yeah, no, your yeah, your video is, is working. Okay, that's fine. Then. Yeah. Mine's just being funny. You're just being quiet. Concentrating. <laughs> or they just have the stream on while doing something else, which I have heard. Especially for this. That's what they were doing when we were playing... Um, Draconian. They just had it on in the background um, while we we're playing. Because it's pretty much the same thing over and over again, especially with this game. Draconian, at least there's a little bit of movement. This is just a guy ducking and jumping over and over again with slightly colored, different colored screens. So I can understand. <laughs> Why nobody would actually want to actively watch it and just keep on the audio in the background. I think it's, it's Twitch is uh, maximizing the brain power of this tiny little tablet, so. Yeah. Trying to be connected to it. No, I didn't say I was going to beat the high score. <laughs> <laughs> It's going well, to attempt to beat trying. the high score. It's an attempt. Yes. 
Not sure what level you have to get up to with all your lives to get to that high score. No, it works for like a second. Really? That's very yeah. strange. And then it just freezes. Could be because your tablet is just not powerful and enough to do 60 frames a second. Yeah, but it was working before, so I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, it, it just like, it gives me like uh, three seconds of video. Anyway, it's not a big deal. I'll just reboot my tablet in a little bit. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> Keep it it's quiet. It's fine. What was the score on this? Oh, I'm not not too far off my high score, 25-20. That's good. But 39-30. That's really good. <laughs> That's a really it good is. score. So you have to make it to level six without dying. Mm -hmm. I have beat my score. Well, good for you. Yes. <laughs> so, twenty-six ninety is my new top score. I'm still playing though, but I need to make it to level six without dying mm -hmm. to at least try and attempt to get to the top score, which is way beyond this. The guy is reflexes of a ninja get 39.30. Like, this next level is super fast and they're tiny. Uh, uh, Arena was just saying that joystick is making the man a little jumpy. <laughs> is it? Yeah, I think he is jumpier. Mm -hmm. With this joystick. is a little twitchy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna die. It's so fast and tiny. At this level? Yeah, there's stars in the sky. If you're noticing the stars, you're not, you're not paying attention to the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, new top score, 2730. 20, good, good, good. Okay, I'm going to be happy with that, but I'm going to keep trying. Do you want me to? Okay. A little break. Try, I haven't tried this. So we're, what buttons? It's All not the, the side. Work. Oh, so any of them? Any of them start. Oh, okay. Yeah. 2730. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm going to just type that in so I can have it. There we go. Oh, Arena Foot typed it too. Thank you. I just wanted to type it so I can scroll through the video and it'll be on there. <laughs> it's awesome having the the text on the oh, screen now. It actually looks really stiff. good. I haven't used a real joystick in a very long time. <laughs> it has been a long... Like, I don't even use real joysticks for Atari games. Oh, or, like, that. joystick joysticks. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It is a little stiff. And it was is, your top score recorded? Did somebody write yours down? Oh, I can't remember yet. Okay. So. It wasn't terrible. I think it's I like, like the other controller better. <laughs> really? Yeah. Call from 185546. No. Don't know that number. <laughs> 855 number? It's not very forgiving. You don't like it? No, Not it's stiff. Not even going to play with it? It's, no, no, you, you, you have to go. get used to it. It is better. I don't... Uh, <laughs> we'll see. It's, when, it's not what I'm used to, I guess. I guess, yeah. Yeah, it's stiff. But in general, it is better for the fast... The fast movements. I think I think it's just practice. Yeah. yeah. Practice with it. It's actually easier when the arrows are going a little bit faster <laughs> because then you don't have to duck and time the jumps as much because they'll go by you already really really quick but this one you have to hold it down till it's completely past you can you pass me the phone yep 
remove it? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, I find this joystick easier. So I think for further gaming, I'm going to look and dig out a good joystick for games like this in the future because those game pads are not working for these type of games. So I'll need to... Ah! Sorry? Yeah, I'm going to blame you. Just saying, I'm gonna have to find a good joystick um, to have on standby for games like this. This one is very stiff, and it would be too. It would, my hand would get too sore after playing it for too long. Don't you find that it travels a lot to hit it, though? Mm, not too bad. It is a bit of travel. I think, like anything, it's what you're used to. Less travel and less stiffness would yeah. be better. But I got a top score. Yeah, you did. So, <laughs> not complaining that much about no. it. You have to have quite a grip on it. Yeah, you do. So that it's not gonna fall out of your hand when I you just, press down. Yeah. <clears throat> as long as you're comfortable with it when it's really fast, that's when it slows yeah. a little. I know the other joystick that I dug up is not going to be good at all for this. It's too, too wiggly, way too much travel on it. That was like the joysticks I used when I had a Commodore 64. Really good for flight sims, that kind of stuff, but... Like the gigantic red one with the white button on top? Yeah, that that's, one. That's what I played with when I was young. <laughs> yeah, and, the and ball my, at the top? Yeah, and then yeah. at one point my dad loved flight simulators, so yeah. he got one that was big that actually had like a big grip on it. Oh, okay. But not like a, Actually, a flight maybe, yoke? Maybe that was maybe that was for one of his PC games. I'm trying to think now. Mm. That might have been post Commodore 64. Because the C64 uh, only had one button. So if it had more than one button. Well, the, the joystick, I remember the joystick had a red button down here and a white button on top. And it was oh. like that big. Usually duplicate um, on the C64. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that you can um, press it. But that was always, that was always the joystick we used. That was the one that I played in the Impossible Mission 1 and 2 on. Mm -hmm. So I got used to that. Yeah, and that's but an it's action all game. Yeah, it was all joysticks. But... Action puzzle. I think any of those games, you just get such a sense, if, if you play any game a lot, a sense of the travel and the movement of the joystick, that mm -hmm. you, can, you can adjust it really finely with your hands. Yeah, you just get used to it. Yeah. And then it just works for anything. Mm. It's level 6 that I have to get to. If I don't make it to level 6 with all my lives, no point. doing at, at this point is I'm focusing on the center but watching the whole screen mm -hmm. um, and just noticing if it's high or low it doesn't matter it never matters what side it's from mm -hmm. it's, you're just you're just observing the periphery yes and just waiting for to see if it's high or low and then reacting as immediately almost and it just gets so fast that <laughs> <laughs> You just don't have time to react and you can't make a mistake. Like there's no there's no room at this point for errors. Ah oh. 
That close. So close. So close. <sighs> keep going. Keep going. Oh, We're I tied. Still doing pretty well. Oh no. No, I didn't tie. You're very close to 27 to your old score, so you might as well keep going if you can. Ooh, it's fast. Twenty-seven ninety. Oh, it was that close to getting. It's so much more bonus. As you if, go forward. If you, yeah. if I didn't miss those last two. It was easy. <laughs> Everybody yeah. be doing Everyone it. Everyone be doing it. So twenty-seven thirty. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. Twenty-seven ninety. Sorry. Yep. Thank you. Damn. At least that does have a huge base to hold on to, and it's it's not super wide like some so. joysticks. Oh, I heard it. I heard it move after. <laughs> but compared to the other one. There's more of a lag, I think. You there have to is. hold it There's down. A touch more of a lag. Yeah. Because of the travel, I think. Yeah. Got it marked, not posted. No, don't post yet. I'm not done. <laughs> not done playing. I have a very good feeling I can beat that one. I can make it with all my lives to level six. Level seven. <laughs> What's going on? Not it, holding it down long it's enough. It's not. It's bouncing back up. Mm. That's why I don't like it. It is stiff, so you have to hold it. You have to, like, pull and hold it. I don't yeah. like the extra. Yeah, see, I was fully holding that down. <laughs> I don't like the that. The video will show. No, but I mean, it, it, <laughs> it, you let go a touch and it bounces back up kind of thing compared to with the, the Genesis oh, I controller. See. It holds it down. So, yeah, if you're used to it. It's, it's, it's a little frustrating. I did way better with the Genesis controller. <laughs> yes, you did. Oh, the slow levels are agonizing now. <laughs> They're so slow. I think it's, I can't, I think it's 10 arrows or 12 per level. I can't we'll remember. have to count next time. Yeah, but there, it's always the same number. Mm. Starcy and I did a count. Mm. Um, I think, yeah, no matter what speed they're going. One. <laughs> you don't have to say that loud. Two. <laughs> three. Four. I have to say it out loud. <laughs> Five. Right? Mm -hmm. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, I think it is 12. 12, no, a little bit more. 13. 13? 13. Okay, maybe it's 13. Mm -hmm. Let's see. One. You're not you gonna do this the whole no. way through. <laughs> but I can't Different. count if I don't read it out loud. Oh, well, because I not while you're playing. Yeah, no, I That's understand. That's the problem. That. after level seven it gets faster does it, it got, just loop back to level one but faster or it's it's not much to keep like or does other this colors keep going? like how many how many i think it goes sorry forever. i was thinking level seven because you mentioned level seven before but this no. is only two levels this is the same level over and over so again with different graphics i i wonder how far how many levels has have they gotten to as far much as the highest than, score much further than what we've seen yeah oh, god I'm just curious. I'm going to have to... There's not going to be documentation of that. <laughs> Unless... I'm sure you can figure it out based on score. You know, uh, yeah, if you have you all your lives to. and you figure out the, you know, it's 10 points each time you dodge a, a bolt or an arrow. So. Yep. Yeah, you would um, be able to. 
could probably figure that out. Based on the score. The 13? Yeah. If it is 13 for every level. Yeah. And I don't want to, I don't want to sit here and count, count each one for every level right now, so. <laughs> Uh, it's hard it. to actually mentally stop myself from doing that as you're doing it. Oh my gosh. Come on. These are the red ones. Get in the game. There we go. These have already gone through previous Aztec runners. You already have the red. Oh, the blood on the, the arrows? Blood. <laughs> yep. They didn't clean them off. No. They're very dirty. Yep, yep, yep. They don't care. <laughs> Just going into somebody else's body. True. I mean, I guess they have to pick them off the ground, but... Reload them. Yeah. Yeah. wonder, like, the other people who are on the left side pick up the ones shot by the guys on the right? <laughs> Ugh. I did it. See, 2790 mm. just by clearing that. So you don't get that many points. Mm. <laughs> so if I clear this, then I'll be super happy. We'll see. I think I'm going to die. <laughs> it's too fast. But not impossible because I did duck and, and jump over some of them on this level. That level is definitely challenging. That's like a whole other. 2930 is pretty good though. 2930. Good job. 3670 on difficulty B on Stella is a world record on highscore.com. Not mm. me, I'm in second place. What is it for non Stella, for like actual console? If you could look it up. Arena foot. Give it a try. Come on. Like you it. can do it. Just I don't like it. Hold it. And I know, but it's like... Work out your wrist. <laughs> you know how bad my wrists are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I do. I'm just going to die. Sorry. Dan says it's good. <laughs> are you just going to die? Yeah. I'm going to look up the highscore.com. Let's see, high score. Ooh. Oops. That's okay. Close. I think how I'm holding it is not helping me here. Highscore.com. And look for. I'm not going to attempt to see if there's dashes or not dashes. So I'm just going to type in challenge, and I'm sure there's not too many games with challenge in the title. There we go. Okay, ACVCS Tech Challenge on B is, oh, it's nothing. It's 2,300. So I can submit my score. I can submit my score of 2,390 and be first in the world. Yes, world record! <laughs> <laughs> um. Are you analyzing the joystick that I got the world record on? Yes. <laughs> it's I think definitely it's just faulty. how I'm holding it. No, <laughs> yeah, it is faulty. <laughs> Clearly, it's letting you win and ma making me lose. It knows. No, it's because I, I keep pushing slightly off off center, and it's I don't know. I don't like it. Sorry. Twenty three thirty on real hardware. It says twenty three hundred. Or is there one in waiting? Anyway, I beat both of those. And then twenty one, uh, two thousand one hundred ten 
for second place. So I will submit mine <laughs> after this. What is this? I, it's you terrible. No, two? I can't even get it to work. <laughs> What's the problem? Like I'm I, literally pushing it downwards, but I keep pushing it slightly to the left. Oh. And because the, of how I'm holding it, and then it just doesn't go down at all. It, it's very precise, so I don't know. I don't like it. It doesn't work for me. But it works for you, yep. so keep at it. <laughs> I think I can beat level six, seven, six. I don't know. Whatever level that is, I think I can do it. Okay. Because I did a lot of it. I almost finished, got to the end of it. But I'd get shot twice or three times during it, but I dodged a lot of them. Yeah, I made it to level six with all my lives, and that's when I died. It's level six that I need to. Hmm. This will be my last attempt, I think. Actually, my last attempt will be if I make it to level six with all my lives. Because I'm not going to beat that top guy. I don't even know how he did it. I'd love to see video of it, but most people are not submitting videos. They're submitting just screenshots. Can't, oh, bad. See him pop up? Mm -hmm. uh, but it's kind of difficult on this one because you could submit a screenshot with the other difficulty, uh, the easy difficulty, and make it look like a top score on this one because it uses the same levels. What is happening? Did you break it? I didn't break it. What is happening? He's I'm having up. trouble with it. Look at this. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I'm not crazy. I was having some issues with it. What is going on with this joystick now? Oh, okay. Now it's, now it's better. Okay. No. Okay. It's temporary. <laughs> but he was popping his head up. Well, that's what I. Yeah, I was having trouble getting it. And getting I was dying. Me. That is not acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Problem with the old hardware. <laughs> yeah, forty-year-old hardware. This is probably thirty-five. Has it been cleaned? No. no. Some of these you can't. Mm. You can't. You destroy them if you. Open. Well, you. If you, open. you wreck some yeah. of them a little bit if you open them. You have to destroy tabs or like with the Wico or the. See, it is problematic. It's not just me. Mmm. <laughs> the Genesis back in. No. You no. like it now with the with the joystick. Is, this is better okay. for this game. Not if it's me. working. <laughs> Not for you. But we'll put the Genesis in after I play for you to get a score on the board. I did pretty well my last one. Your last play without yeah. this joystick? Yeah. Okay. I'll have to review that. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. Now. Unless somebody Two. remembered it. 2000. 2000 something? No, I don't. I didn't get that far, did I? I can't yeah, even remember. I think you got some. I can't remember maybe now. No. <laughs> oh, maybe that was in the other one. She did? No, I did. Uh, yeah, anyway. In the 2000s? Yeah? Yeah. We'll see. I just can't remember. Because, I mean, it you wasn't get 400 terrible. on the first level. Yeah, it wasn't so. terrible. Nah, it's behaving now. I made it to the level before the one where you died. Level five? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, making it to level five is not impossible. It's just hard to get past level five and, and, and especially yeah, with level all six. your lives. Yeah. That's that's my goal is with yeah. all the lives, and that's a big, that's a totally different, different thing. There's definitely, like, after you play a game for a while, you get into a zone. Like, you just you just know the game, yeah. you understand it, and you get techniques and patterns, like, like wall, wall Jump Ninja. I was going to say Wall Jump Ninja <laughs> is another one that's sort of uh, that one repetitive. Just... I mean, each room is different, oh, but you so kind different. of get in that kind of meditative state when you're playing it. With that one, you, you the... have to understand the arcs of the jumps so well. Well, and the difficulty is, is once you get to a high enough level, you die so easily, it's hard to practice. 
Oh, it's hard to practice um, that particular level because it takes Possible. so long to get to it, right? So yeah, it's not a super short game. It's not no, long, no, but, but it feels long. And like when you finally get to a decent, decent room, it's joystick broken. It's not working. He's he's not staying down. No. It's not just uh, me. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna plug in this one because I'm not going back to Genesis controller on this game. That, that you said. Oh yeah. Get one more good game in. Yeah. Hopefully that one will work well. It's good. It's rattly, but it's responsive. Yep. Radley. <laughs> Super Radley. I don't, I, no, this isn't one that I had. Um, maybe it is my original one. No, it's not. I had one just like this, um, but the top front button would get stuck inside the joystick all the time and I'd have to pry it out. Terrible. But it had all these four buttons on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's just like this. And my other joystick was the one you were describing. It was like a round red yeah. top with a white very, button. Very, very popular joystick. That, and a that button on one. the bottom. Yeah. And that one was really good, but mm. I played the, played the hell out of it, that joystick, mm. and it had a metal shaft, and it was rusting and smelling because of all really? the sweat on it. Oh, that's funny. So the joystick smelled awful, <laughs> and your hand smelled awful after playing it. It smelled like metal, like just metal, strong metal smell. So I still I'm surprised, have them. I'm surprised the like the bearings or the movement of it didn't didn't start to go. Yeah, they're constructed really well. Yeah. I, I mean, as they have to be for playing hundreds of games and hundreds of hours and, and people being really, really hard on them. Really rough on them, yeah, for sure. So this one's a little a lot easier to move. Yeah. One no, more. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, jeez. It is short. You do have to sit forward a bit. Oh, and everybody out there, I have ordered a new computer. Oh. Hold, hold it down. It down. I've ordered a new computer, so all uh, the quality of the streams. What is going on? No, I'm, I'm just oh. <laughs> Sorry. The quality of the streams are going to get a lot better um, because right now the settings are pretty much on one of the lowest settings that it, for encoding the stream. So I can crank up the settings to maximum encoding so that it's not as compressed. It'll be the same. And I can up the bit rate as well too, like a little bit. Um, and I might be able to add back in our webcam stream, that's like our little close-up stream um, camera, onto the uh, uh, the VCS and show the cartridge and the VCS. That'd be kind of a, a cool little look. And we had that at the beginning, but it was crashing the computer and slowing it down. Time for some new joysticks. Yeah, I have boxes, boxes <laughs> of joysticks. Except unfortunately, the the DB9 joysticks are just they're buried somewhere. So right now all I can find is some Genesis and um, I can't even find my original Atari. I have another box of an Atari, um, like overflow Atari. So I do have those, but I, I really hate original Atari joysticks. The really nubby, small ones, they're just not, I hate them. I hate them so much. Ma make my hand hurt because the base is so small, you can't hold it properly. And the joystick is so short it just makes my hands hurt after after a while and the button is not super great. Um, your art, graphics, and countdown are tops. Thank you so much. <laughs> I try and make it look really good and be informative. And I, I, I saw the countdown on another stream and I was like, oh my God, that's so perfect because people will know, oh, it's gonna be in 10 minutes. I can go and then come back in 10 minutes and that's when it'll be on. Um, 
So rather than, oh, it's coming on at some time, I don't know. Lately, I've been starting it right on time, which is which is good. Sometimes, you know, I'm a little delayed, so it's going to be like 7.10 or 2.20 or something, and I can just, you know, crank up the, the time to add a couple more minutes. And this chat, and I, I, I've been wanting to do the chat for a while, but I haven't had the time to research into it, and it was very, very easy to actually add the chat in. Um, and it looks really good. It's like small enough that it's out of the way. Um, yeah, it's it's really, really nice. Getting, the, the Atari's really interesting to be able to do video capture of <laughs> because every game is different. Everybody programs different number of lines for the game. So you don't know where they're going to start drawing the screen or where they're going to start, where they end the screen. I'd love to make the capture bigger. Like it's not filling the screen and I'd like to make it bigger. But if I make it too big, sometimes things go off the screen. Uh, oh, you jumped right up in the air. I just went wrong Caught way. it in the neck. That's okay. That's okay. You're doing good. Yeah. Oh, that was so close. I know. It's a shame, eh? Yeah. And yeah, I try and make it as appealing as possible and, you know, get us out of the way into the corner of the screen. So, you know, you can still see us and some other, um, I'm trying to emulate like the really good streamers. Um, obviously the ones that do 16 by nine modern games, oh, um, fill the screen and then they put themselves in an overlay. I would love to do green screen where you can blank out the whole back here and we kind of float within the screen. Um, but I can still probably do that, maybe. So I could just get a green screen to come down from here or, or go up from the back. And they're not really that costly, especially one for that just goes in behind um, this area. 2010, there you go, you're it's on the bad. board. That's not bad, that's a better controller. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. It does jump. Um, it has a bit of momentum though, I find, like, or maybe I'm just a little jittery, which is part of it too, but like I'll you go up and then swing, coffee. swing down a little bit and it'll, or not duck, it's the, usually the opposite. You go down and it kind of jumps. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Compared to the other one, it has a little bit of momentum, but, um, it's still good. Okay. That's 20, what does he say? Uh, the 2600 is so old, I miss scan lines because they soften the blocky resolution. <laughs> yeah. It's true. True. I've gotten so used to crisp, perfect graphics now, I don't think I could go back to the soft look of everything. And also, I play all homebrew, so I think homebrew designers are used to seeing their games and developing their games in Stella, which is played on the computer, um, and they see it in blockiness mm -hmm. too. So the old games were more developed for the fuzzy, um, the fuzzy old CRT televisions, which it works well for, but um, yeah, I'm just so used to it now. And looking into phosphor decay and unfortunately the frame meister doesn't have any phosphor decay that would be really really cool for games that uh, really utilize the 60 fps um, what is that is that a setting to soften the edges or the look of it um what it does there is there is a setting on um, stella mm -hmm. it's for when games are playing at 60 frames a second um, especially homebrew where it's alternating two things that are on top of each other mm -hmm. and trying to create one solid object. When you play at 60 frames a second on a crisp, clean system, like on the computer or on here, where I've got a six set up for 60, mm -hmm. it will go away in the other 60th of a second. Rather than fade in the phosphor of, the, of right. a regular screen. Okay. So that it'll kind sense. of have some afterglow. Yeah into the next 60th of a second mm -hmm. and create a 30 frames per second double up. Um, but that would be really not super complicated for the Framemeister to do. 
But it would have to look and see what was there and see if that disappeared and then make it be there, but at a, a lower like level. Faded almost. Faded a bit. Yeah. But I don't think the Frame Meister is taking that this that type of thing into account. That'd be a neat, neat um, feature to put on it. Yeah. Though. Stella has it though. Stella does. Yeah. So the uh, PC emulator. Mm. So you can turn phosphor on, which greatly enhances the look of 60 frames per second games that use that trick. Mm. Um, but I don't think there's any way to do it um, through a Frame Meister. Um, I did a quick search today for that, but there's just nothing. It's nothing, nothing like that. But if anybody out there knows of a setting that is similar to that or something that can be done on the Frame Meister, but it is, it is very specific and would have to be like purposefully built into the Frame Meister to do additional calculations. So I am in the process of doing a number of um, episodes, non-live episodes, that I'm in the process of doing. One of course is the unboxing of the box that I showed you earlier in the stream. New box of goodies from Atari Age. Um, and another one is the book review of Brian Mathern's new book of homebrew games. And a third one is the construction of my RGB, not construction, but uh, the modding of my RGB uh, Atari VCS. Um, so it's all about having enough time to, to get those done. And time is freeing up a little bit now. So there's a good possibility that at least the unboxing and the book review will be done because the VCS modding is quite a big um, big video with a lot of a lot of parts. Sorry, I have to concentrate now. Yeah, it's fair. Ah. Back in the zone. Make it once, then I'll stop one more time <laughs> with all my lives to level six. Yeah. Can you say that now? <laughs> I did, but you wanted to play and we had to change joysticks. Aww. And never got my chance. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's hard once you start. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to stop. A game that I've been addicted to lately is Doodle Jump. Oh my god, that game's good. I'm getting better and better scores on it. I think I got three, three, oh, just over 3,000 on it recently. And my previous score of 26, I just beat that. So, looking forward to new versions of Doodle Jump. It's, it's really fun. It's just a jumping game. You just jump up on platforms and then you jump on a spring. Um, so, if anybody out there hasn't watched the episode on Doodle Jump, uh, it was the last, second to last one, because we did another impromptu stream, mm. did we? On Monday, right? Yep. Yeah. Yesterday? Was it yesterday? Did yeah. we do it on Sunday? Uh, yesterday and today uh, we did one? Yeah, I think it was oh, yesterday. It didn't seem like yesterday, but it seemed like no, two days no, ago. No, no, it was Sunday. It was Sunday. It was Sunday? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was That's what I thought. It didn't seem like yesterday. Like yesterday, did we? No, it was Sunday. Yeah, so two, like not last time, but the one before that. I uh, played Doodle Jump with uh, Darcy. We both agreed it was magnificent. Mm. And it was just an alpha, alpha build. He just like just, just, just released it, it with like the basics, but the basics were so solid. Who made the like game? Like what he, um, uh, I haven't memorized the guy's oh, name. Sorry, that's all right. Didn't yeah. mean to put you on the spot. <laughs> I can't remember his name. Um, but he had like perfected the gameplay. Um, like the the feel and the jumping and everything like he doesn't have the game isn't complex yet It's just the basics are working really well 
um, and the basics of the game are just, as somebody described it in the forums, it's one of those, just, just one more try, just one more try games. Just give it one more try after you die. Um, is this, the sound effects are so satisfying in it? Yeah. It's just like perfect jump noise, perfect spring noise when it springs you up really far. And, and when you land on a spring, it's like so satisfying that it shoots you up in the air really fast. Just everything's perfect. Even the dying noise is good. It's happy dying noise. <laughs> and uh, so we did uh, a playthrough of it on the show and, and gave a lot of feedback on what he should add or what he should change. And, and it's, there was no bugs per se. Um, the only thing that was a little, a little annoying for trying to get high scores was that it just starts over right away. Um, there's no button press to start over; it just restarts. But that's not a big deal. So that's probably the first thing he'll add in. Okay, level five, no whammies. Big bucks. No point. No point. Oh, I'm getting calluses. <laughs> or not calluses. Calluses is what comes after. I'm getting, rubbing my hand you're raw. Getting blisters. Getting blisters. Getting blisters, and then you get calluses. Yes. It's from gripping the the joystick. I'm not getting Nintendo thumb. I'm getting joystick, joystick grip or <laughs> whatever you'd call it. What time is it? Uh. 830, 830. Okay. Well, 837. 837. Okay. I'm almost done. Just have to make it to level six. No deaths. Just have to concentrate. Anything in the chat? says yes my flappy is actually widescreen oh, arena yeah. foot says flappy is widescreen wow i didn't know that was possible i guess if you plan it to be <laughs> widescreen and then arena foot says cool idea press your luck port for the 2600 <laughs> yeah I love press your luck. that was a crazy crazy game show it was the only reason it got famous was because it had really cool animation and it, yes, the rest it did. of it was totally normal, you know, spin the wheel type game. I love that game. I remember whenever I was sick in elementary school, it was like the one show <laughs> I was I, I stayed home and I, I to watch. Yeah. You know, like there were kids shows on in the morning, but I always was constantly looking for Press Your Luck on TV. I thought that was the most awesome game show. Probably always... because it was simple enough for a child to understand. Yeah, you just press a button yeah. and you get money. Yep. That's and then or prizes. And then the little whammies and the animations were fun. So yeah. Yeah, I was, was always looking show. for different animations. Like, oh, I hope they have new animations today. And we were watching. Was it uh, some kind of? Um, Documentary. I was, was just it a documentary mention that. or was it a video about the guy who it scammed a, it? It was a mini documentary. It was a mini documentary. He didn't scam it. Well, he did. He memorized. He memorized the. Um, he, it was the equivalent. The patterns. The equivalent of card counting. Yes, but that's what I mean. Yeah. He 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 wasn't just pressing he his cheat. luck. He was he well. Mm, no. Maybe not formally, but. They gave him the money. Essentially, did they? Yeah, because there's nothing saying that he couldn't do what he did. Nothing yeah. against what he... So there was a, a built-in pattern. The programmers of the board, um, when they made the board... I can't talk anymore. Don't. Can you explain yeah. it? So they... There were some fairly complex patterns uh, in how it would beep and pick the tiles around the outside. Um, and... I can't remember because they completely reenacted this this guy staying at home watching the show and memorizing patterns. But basically, he memorized the patterns, and so he knew if if it fell on a certain I can't remember now. 
if it fell on a certain or a certain set of, of numbers flashed up, he knew what the pattern would be and he knew exactly when to stop it. So it would always end with a multiplier, something like that. But he, he basically memorized the patterns and he just won tons and tons of money. I, I, I would have to watch the doc documentary again, but um, it really was just pat pattern memory. Sorry, I shouldn't have stopped talking. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Ah! <laughs> Really, I lost two lives. It's terrible. Good practice here, I guess. That's pretty good. I did it. 40? Nope. 29.30. Yes. Yeah. No. Nope. Almost done. You trying to beat it again? <laughs> no, I, I didn't make it to level 6 with all my lives. Oh. Uh, terrible. <laughs> Almost did. Yes. So, there were, I think, nine built-in patterns on the board. Um, and they would repeat over and over again. And the programmers thought that would be enough patterns to make it look random. Um, so what he did is analyzed years of this show and figured out all the patterns and then figured out when to press the button so it would land on the, it would have the highest amount of chance yeah. of landing on the right thing. So Dan ABC says Michael Lawson, and he watched the tapes at home, and he watched the pattern and memorized it. Yeah, yeah. memorize the pattern. Um, but not only do you have to memorize the pattern, you yeah. have to know the when to press it to get yes. the right thing. Yeah. And there's also um, a little bit of leeway, so he would have to make sure that even on either side of it, of if he, uh, damn it. sorry, if he <laughs> pressed it too early or too late, he was still fine. The downfall is that he was too good and he kept winning and he couldn't die and there was no out in the game. If you kept winning, the game never ended. Like you could, so the, he had to keep playing and playing and playing and playing and it was the longest game ever on the it show. It was super long, yeah. And then he accidentally ended the game properly and he won, but only by luck. Um, because he never figured out how to stop the game, how to win properly and finish it. He only memorized how to Keep get as much money. Get, get the money, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, while the game was happening, the, the host was like, what, what is happening? Yeah. And, and they were <laughs> all going on? extremely excited, <laughs> thinking that this was just pure luck and chance. Oh, but obviously everyone they figured was super it out. excited. Then, anyway, uh, then yeah, everyone Dan... got bored. On yeah. the show, they're uh, like, "What? This is stupid. What is happening?" Arena Foot said the Game Show Network still airs reruns of of what is it, Pete? Press your luck. Press your luck. Oh yes, yeah, the old ones. And yeah, Dan ABC said right after the episode they randomized the board more. And if oh, I yeah, remember way correctly, more. it the board looked completely different. Like they changed yeah, it up. Changed everything. Um, way more patterns. Like but, a lot more patterns. Yeah. But definitely, it was. It, look it, for it that was, documentary. Yeah, it's so it's amazing. interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> From a programming perspective and just a game show yeah. perspective, every like everybody will like this. It's yeah. so good. And and they and they have video of the episode which they never air anymore. Somebody was able to get a recording of it. Um, and they and and actually the story of the guy who won it, the guy is totally interesting too. In a bad, bad, bad way. <laughs> and what happened to him after he won all that money is very interesting too. I Did he have that in the documentary? Yep. Oh. Or maybe not. But you should read up if it's not in the documentary. I can't remember. I don't know if I should say yeah. it. Because we'll spoil we already spoiled most of it. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, definitely seek it out. Just look for Press Your Luck. It's all on YouTube. It's uh, divided into a bunch of parts, like three parts. Because it was probably posted really early in YouTube's life where you could only post post 10 minute videos. Mm. Very annoying. I just remember they reenacted him sitting on his like shag carpet watching <laughs> watching yes. the VHS videos and I, I don't know why that sticks <laughs> in my mind but that little documentary they actually reenacted him just staring yeah, staring from behind. at the screen I don't know if they showed his face or just reenacted I him. well it was just actors right but I just I remember that cluttered house yeah. <laughs> it's like a hoarder's house yeah and so many videotapes of the show yeah he lived with his mother or something I can't remember no he had a wife did he have a wife yeah. oh I thought it was his mother No, I'm gonna just give it one more attempt. I think I'm. Uh, <laughs> you I keep think saying I'm burned one out. more, one more, one more. No, but I think I'm burned out. There's, there's also a point after you get to the zone when you go beyond the zone, mm -hmm. and you just it's not good anymore. <laughs> you start breaking down after staring at patterns over and over again. CBS and producers en ended Michael's episodes. Not Mike. And then, uh, sorry, this is Dan ABC. You have to talk louder. Can't. Dan ABC, sorry. Oh, no. uh, Buzzer recently aired both episodes oh. a few weeks ago. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's funny what you remember from things. For me, it's just the reenactments of him watching the TV. I just, I don't know why I found that so funny. Yeah. They're just filling time. But. Um, yeah, they wanted to pad it out yeah, to be, yeah. you know, an hour long yeah, or something. But I mean, it worked really well. Oh, no, it did. Because to tell that story, they had to tell, you know, how his, he his, figured it out. Yeah. Is it raining outside? It is, yeah. That's what that noise is. It sounded like leaves, but also... Leaves blowing in the wind sound like rain when they're smacking against each other. No, it's, it's really windy. Good. Yeah. A little bit of white noise. <laughs> I also watched Bumper Stumpers. Oh. Okay. That game. Bumper Stumpers. I don't know if you get it in the U.S., but um, it seemed like a Canadian show because it was terribly low budget. There are a lot of low budget '80s Canadian shows. TV Canadian shows. Canadian TV shows. It was a with thing terrible for a while. prizes. Like low, low, oh, low end yeah. prizes. Yeah. <laughs> like it's so funny the prizes, like they're so low end. Yeah. Because, you know, we have one tenth of the population, so the prizes are one tenth of the cost. Wow. But it was. Um, they were time fillers on Canadian TV, I think. <laughs> personalized license plates, right? And they had just never ending personalized license plates. I think it was seven. They used the seven digits because it's everything's out of Ontario and they had the seven digits and letters and numbers in Ontario. We didn't have that here. We just had six. Or did they have eight? Anyway, seven or eight. And they had tons of them. And you had to figure out what they said. And that's the game. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's it. It was like a personalized license plate and you'd have to figure out what it what it meant. Yeah. And some of them were really brutally obscure. Like, so they were not easy. They're not straightforward. And there'd be numbers and letters and a mix and you'd have some of them be like, eh, I don't know about that one. Because they couldn't repeat them, right? So they had to keep coming up with worse and worse license plates. And there was a grocery store one too, wasn't there? Yes. Uh, that where was they would, fun to watch. They would, ha they would say, oh, you have to find these. There they were it's different like parts spree. to it. It was a sh shopping spree. Something, yeah. Was and that what it was called? Uh, no. Uh, shopping something. Yeah. Uh, grocery spree or grocery... But you had to get specific items, yeah. and they would give you hints. And when you picked up the can or whatever, it it said, "Yeah, this is the right thing." Yeah, no, and it would have the hint to where where to find the next thing. Oh yeah, Do so you if remember? you didn't get the first one, you're not getting the second yeah. one. Yeah. So you had um, to stick with it. So yeah, it would it would be like oysters, and then it, you, they would be in this fake grocery store, and they'd have to find the oysters. And if they found the oyster can, there would be a note note yeah. under it or something like that. It's like, this is saucy, and then you yeah. go to the sauce. And you'd win like a hundred dollars worth of groceries or something. Like you'd fill your cart. You get got to fill you your cart. You got to fill your cart, and you would win everything in your cart. I remember so everybody that. stocked up on really expensive hams. 
Yeah. <laughs> they'd yeah. fill their cart All the with, meat. Just yeah. pile it with hams. Oh, or it was so funny. Sorry. Okay. That's it. We're talking about Canadian game shows. <laughs> That's it. That's right, because they would Obviously, win it at the I'm end. Obviously, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah, they'd win and they'd just they run down the line. they get 10 minutes to get all the food they wanted in, oh, their, no, in their grocery not. cart. It was not 10? 10 minutes. Was it, it like, was like 5 minutes or something? Even less. Like, it was really, really quick. 2 minutes. Because yeah. they didn't want them to get so they too just, much. So they were just run down the aisles and, like, pull stuff off the shelves. They'd so. just run their yeah. arms down yeah. the aisles the ham, and pull it all in. All the turkeys. Yeah. And every time yeah. at the end... It would be the same stuff. Oh, oops. It would be the same stuff they would go for all the time. Um, like when they won. They would yeah. go to the meats, they'd pile up on meats, then they'd go somewhere else just so they didn't have a ton of meat at home. Yeah. <laughs> or they'd sell it afterwards or something. I'm Probably. sure they sold it. Yeah. Um, yeah, that one was fun just because it was high action. It, uh, yeah, but as you say... <laughs> prizes were never that great supermarket sweep yes that's the one they yes. probably you know they're just a sh game show so they can just buy them and air them they're all from the 70s 80s or 80s 80s, 80s. yeah definitely um, the 80s. and one more that i watched you may have watched it as well just like mom yes i, I was just <laughs> thinking about that i love that show you when probably I was don't have this one in the U.S. I don't know. It's super weird and obscure. It may have aired in the U.S. though, on, and some of these obscure channels now show a lot of these old shows. Yeah, it's a game game show The Game channel? Show Network and stuff like Something that, like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the premise of this one is super funny. The, it's a cooking show for kids. Um, you didn't have to be the best cook. What you had to do is get your mom to guess which one was yours. Yeah. And they gave you terrible ingredients for cookies. And I think well, it was no, just cookies. They didn't give you terrible... They gave you options for terrible ingredients. It wasn't always... Was Mostly cookies, cookies at the end? Because it's so easy to make. I can't remember because there were different parts to the competition because there were yeah. three and then you'd go down to two and then there'd be one winner, I think. Or maybe four down to one. Um, one second. On buzz right now? Oh, buzzer. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Uh, and, but I do remember the last one. It was, yeah, they would make... It was cookies at the end. Cookies at the end, but there were other other parts of the competition, too. I think they, one, they had to make recipes. They, like, write them? No, I, I could swear there was one where there were... They would have to make a recipe. But then, with the mother. And then oh, the okay. last the last competition was they gave, they gave the kids a bunch of cookie ingredients... And, and then the kids would make the cookie, and the non cookie ingredients. The, the mother would have to eat the cookie and guess which one was theirs. But they would throw in all kinds of crazy food. Ketchup. Ketchup. So and it was mustard and so gross. Terrible things. Yeah. Not like not like meat items, like things you could just eat. Yeah. By itself, but even if it wasn't the cooked. poor parents, the poor mums would Had have to, to eat, eat the three cookies. <laughs> all of them. Of the remaining competitors or whatever. Yeah, no, yeah. but there were always three. They made it to the end, yeah. all the way through. Yeah, you're right. It was just... Yeah. And the prizes were like a weekend in some terrible amusement like, park. Or like a somewhere. fishing lodge in, yeah. in, in, in northern Ontario or something like that. Not, not good stuff. Yeah. Or lazy boy. It's yeah. always lazy boys. You won. <laughs> That's good times. On buzzer right now, just ending now. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. I hope we're still good. Still streaming? Yep. Okay. Um, so that is a VCS Tech Challenge. I did not get first place, but first place was pretty, pretty far well. up. Got second for now. Yeah. There's still time. You beat you beat your previous scores, right? Card sharks. I didn't watch that a lot. Card sharks. I did beat both my previous scores, so yes. I'm totally happy with That's that. Good. Personal bests are always good. Mm. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what the next competition is. That'll mm -hmm. be the middle of the month. So, oh, Supermarket Sweep, Supermarket Sweep is just ending on Buzzer nice. right now. <laughs> I thought you were saying there's a buzz on the show or something on our our broadcast, and I was mm. freaking out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love this. It looks really good on that, except on your white shirt. Uh, That's okay. okay. There you go. Down a bit. Down. There. Now you can see the $5,000. There. <laughs> um, so we'll be back on tomorrow. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow. Um, we're going to be playing Princess Rescue. Okay. Um, and I think it's going to be you and me. Uh, unless I can get somebody else. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can get somebody else to substitute. We'll see. 
Um, that'll be 7 p.m. tomorrow. Um, and that's uh, Super Mario Brothers. Have you played that one yet? No, I haven't. No. Okay, good. I'm excited. Yeah. It'll be good. We're going to see how far we can get. It's I don't know how many levels are in the game or if they did a whole... I, I made it up to the first boss oh, when okay. I played it. Okay. I didn't beat the first boss. Okay. And I'm I'm pretty certain there's at least like three full worlds. Okay, cool. Yeah. So it's That's... it's pretty good. It's very hard controls. Okay. Not like you have to get used to them. Okay. It's not like Mario Brothers. No, it's no. It's a bit more, you know, angly or something. You're saying know. Mario Brothers Super or Super Mario, Mario, Mario Brothers? Brothers? Yeah, okay. Super Mario Brothers. Okay. Mario cool. Brothers came out for the 2600. Yes. Originally, but not Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. Yeah, Princess Rescue! Yeah. <laughs> if anybody has an extra Princess Rescue cartridge that they'd love to send to me, I'd be all for taking that. <laughs> and also Boulder, Boulder Dash, too. Just send it over to me. You can ask for me for my address, and I'd love to play them. Yeah, those are like $250 Ooh. US. Wow. Actually, I don't even know what Boulder Dash is. I don't think it goes up for auction mm. on eBay very often, but Princess Rescue is about 250 Wow. Maybe three fifty. Is I it just remember. a r rare card, or it's just really, really? Princess Rescue was pulled, almost like within days uh, of being on Atari Age, because of its similarities to and Nintendo being so sensitive. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo is okay. Unbelievably sensitive. Yeah. And Boulder Dash was a limited run of two hundred and fifty cards. Mm. I think fifty or two hundred and fifty. I think it was two hundred and fifty. So the people who own it still like owning it the game like the license to it because they still make it on other platforms and, oh, okay um not very often but they do and they didn't renew the license there's still lots of people who'd like to own it like mm -hmm. i'd buy it but they, it's not available they're like nope that's all you can make we don't want to make <laughs> any more not that not that they made much money you can't make money on homebrew because they're such limited runs and they, they do cost quite a bit to make you know yeah keep demand high uh, the replacement does... I had the problem cart where you couldn't make an end jump. Oh, God. That's terrible. Where you couldn't jump on the flag, I guess. Yeah, that'd be terrible. Mm. Um, you should have kept it. Because <laughs> that would be like a rare one. <laughs> or maybe it was just a bug in the in the chip. The replacement one does, this, does the same thing. Oh, the boxed one it has jump... Oh, so you do have extras. Okay, you can send it to me then if you have the... <laughs> even a one that doesn't work properly... I'm fine with, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it was like hitting a ceiling. Oh, okay. Mm. I have one of the lady, 100 Ladybug LE. I have that too. Yeah. But I didn't get into homebrew early enough, obviously. Got into it a couple of years. Like buying the cartridges. Um, not when Princess Rescue was around. Mm. Mm. I would have bought it. When yeah. did Princess Rescue come out? Early 2010s. 2012 okay. it's been around for that oh, was wow. a while ago yeah. okay but i buy them all now or at least the ones i like yeah not all of them oh my god i'd be broke <laughs> so, well you've seen how many controllers he's gotten along along the years too yeah but that's you could sell a, some of your controllers years. and then buy some more homebrew games uh no they all, <laughs> those aren't worth anything unless i sell that um mercury controlled one mercury. remember that the one that has oh it has like mercury in it the first wire like the first you what would you call it? it directional i'll show it next time yeah um it's very cool if you look it up it has it has no base it has no movement it's it's like the nintendo wii where you tilt it and, and there's and mercury it, in a tube right yeah mercury in a tube or in a, a round thing i guess yeah and it touches makes connections on the bottom left right and top and that's how you move. It is really cool, and yeah. it and it still works yeah. after all these years. Um, it's not great for playing, but you can play. Mm -hmm. It would be good for like puzzle games, not high action games at all. It's too slow. Mm. Yeah. Neat. Uh, did you get the Spies in the Night box? Yes, I did. Yeah, with all the goodies, the first, first, first edition with the glasses and everything like that. Um, very simplistic game, but it's fun. It's fun, mm -hmm. but it's not like it doesn't have a lot of replay value for me, unfortunately, because it's just the same thing over and over again, like really simplistic. Mm -hmm. You just don't get.
get Sean on by the... I might play it again because I didn't know about oh, the guy shooting one. from the left and right very much when I first played it. So I might revisit it again later. Um, uh, I didn't know because Albert printed a one-off card with text label before Scott, Scott did those boxes. So you got an earlier one. It's all these versions. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Because, you know, maybe that's not the limited one. Maybe the one after the box is a limited one. Or the one without a label is a limited one. 2600 is is insane for collecting. Like, even original stuff is insane for collecting. Like, you, nobody has a full collection of 2600 games. Mm -hmm. Nobody. There's infinite. Dan ABC is saying goodbye. Yeah, so we gotta we'll go. say have a good night. Yeah, we're gonna go too. Sorry. We're yeah. just blabbering on have about Have a good stuff. night's sleep. Yeah, and we'll see you tomorrow, uh, 7 p.m. Um, for Princess Rescue. So, bye bye. bye have a See good you tomorrow. Night. Bye, Dan. Bye, Arena Foot. Bye, Sposta. I think that was the main people in here. Yep. See you tomorrow or next time. Yes. Bye bye. Bye.